Hello, one of my clients wanted to create a template task and then uh, be able to set um, the date. It's very easy to create a templated task. You set out the task and then you save it as a template and you end up with something like this. The problem with it is that it will use today's date as the default date for the earliest date that exists within the task or subtask. So if I click here, you can see that this was the earliest date and it defaults to today. And then everything else follows um, as it would do based on the number of days after that initial date. That's all very well and good, but in this particular example, this client wants this date to be the 14th of February. I think they want a reminder uh, a week before and two weeks before to buy their loved one a gift. So how do we do that? Well, there are a couple of ways. The first way is to select all of the tasks and then add them to the project. Um, so we're gonna add them to creator v2. Um, and then what you'll see is that these two subtasks that currently exist underneath the task I want done become tasks belonging to the project in their own right. Up to this point, they didn't. It's then very easy for me to jump into the timeline and select when it loads all three of those tasks and then move them to uh, Valentine's Day for the end task. And you can see what that does then is moves the other two uh, subtasks to a week before and two weeks before that. Great. Um, that seems a little bit onerous perhaps because you have to then go and remove them from uh, the task creator and then you need to put them where they need to be. So this task creator V2 is going to sit here, but the parent task is going to be rehomed to the project it's part of, which is a request for creative production. We have to remove it from this task, leaving the timeline nice and clear for us to be able to remove, uh, sorry, to move the next task around. Great, so that's one way that we could do it. It's a little bit cumbersome. There's a number of steps, quite easy when we know what they are. There is another way, however, and that is to uh, create a task. And this time we're going to actually save this task as a uh, save this project as a template. So we've got our two subtasks in there. We're going to save this project as a template. So we click here, we click save as template. You may have gathered I've already done this a couple of times today. Um, we're then going to create that template. Then the next time that we want to uh, um, create this task, we can go in and use the task template to do it. There is, however, one important change we need to make to the template. Currently, it's working from the project start date. We actually want this to do it from the uh, project due date because it's the it's the final task, that uh, heading task, that parent task that we want to set the date for. So I've now made it before the due date. Um, I've said skip weekends and we're going to um, update all the tasks. What you'll see now is when we uh, click on the details within this, that this is happening on uh, the project due date. And this task is happening five working days before the project due date and 10 working days before the project due date. So that's good to go. So now if we want to get some tasks and we want to be able to set the date without having to drag them around, we can click here, select project, select user template select task creator version three, use the template, decide the date, if I move my face, that we want it to happen, which is the 14th of February. I'm gonna have to move my face again, unfortunately. Let me move my face over here. Where's my face gonna end up? Let's put my face over there. Um, we're gonna select the date, February the 14th. And now when we create the project, what we're gonna get is uh, three tasks, a task and two subtasks, with the dates that we want. So the parent task will be the 14th of February and the subtask will be a week prior and a week prior to that. So that's two ways that you can create a templated uh, task with a date that you set. I hope that's helpful.